Good evening everyone. How the nights are drawing in. It's only about six or something isn't it? I'm not quite sure and yet it's actually quite dark out there. But that's not what I'm here to talk about, about how it's dark outside. I'm here because I am Lindsay. I'm the authentic confidence coach and I'm here for the next 100 days up until October, the f no it's not October, this is October, up until January the 4th to bring you hints and tips, tips and tricks on how to be confident. Now you notice I've been, I've just washed my hair, um, I'm going out tonight and it was either go and dry my hair, get myself ready and then do my Facebook live when I've got all my glam on. I'll just get on with it now and be my authentic self because this is me for this moment in time. This is how I would be portraying myself to somebody who came to the door or someone who I met if I was in you know, a community of people. And that's what we have to be, our authentic selves. Now, anybody who watched my Facebook Live yesterday will say, hang on. You were telling us to be actors or actresses on the stage and pretend to be somebody that you feel is, will be a, a character. Absolutely. But right now, would your authentic self, the real you, be able to go into that business meeting and get that contract that you really want? Would your authentic self right now be able to carry out all the things that you want to do with confidence. Maybe so, but then you wouldn't be listening to confidence tips and tricks. But on an everyday occurrence, meeting friends, meeting acquaintances, it's good to be yourself, the real true you. But what's more important is being your authentic self to yourself by looking in the mirror and seeing our imperfections and thinking instead of looking in the mirror and going oh my god you know what's happening here I've got these lines here I don't look like I did when I was 21 it's actually telling our bodies that we aren't happy with who we are right now and that in itself does not give us confidence so for today's tip is mirror work now if you want to know more about mirror work there's lots and lots of information on the internet and louise here is one of the best to go and read some affirmations that you can do in the mirror so what is mirror work mirror work is actually looking at yourself eye to eye eye contact with you and your image in the mirror and telling yourself really good things about yourself it can be quite scary actually to begin with because we have been hi Fiona because we've been conditioned when we were younger there's no getting away from it about certain aspects of ourselves and of course as time goes on we see the television we see magazines of this perfect shape this perfect character that we all should be and yes, you know, I am guilty of it, very much so. My hair underneath all this red is pure white because I'm at that age where my hair has turned grey. But I wanted to, st I want to stay young. So I dye it every two and a half or three weeks. Is that my authentic self? It is to me because I am a redhead. I've always been a redhead. So my personality, my character, is of this redhead. If it were grey, I pr would probably just change my personality. It might be more effervescence, it might be duller, I don't know. It won't happen for a little while. So my tip and trick for today is to go and do mirror work. You might find to begin with that when you stand and you look in the mirror and you look at yourself, eye contact, eye contact, you might find that you look away you don't watch yourself but just sit for a moment and take note of how beautiful you are because we are all beautiful no matter what and once we know we're beautiful 
then we'll attract people who believe, who want to be with us, because they too are beautiful. All right, well, that's my five minutes tips and tricks for this dark and very windy Sunday evening. Catch you tomorrow for some more tips and tricks. Bye for now. Bye, Fiona. Bye.